Hello everyone, thanks for coming back and checking out our YouTube videos of some awesome early alpha footage of Planetary Annihilation. This time we're going to be doing that same bot harass, but we're going to try to up our bot factories because we were very positive economic wise last game and we could definitely afford more. We're really toying with opening build orders and not getting stuck in a rut with using a build repeatedly. Blake, we're going naval. Looks like we're not going to be going bots. This stinking planet. It's an Earth planet, but it's all water. It's fine. It happens. It would yeah. be a request that I would do to the developers to where the tropical planets have a chance of being like this. But if you're going Earth, I don't think it should be completely water. Okay, we got a small island with two metal in it. And that's the only one. So, basically, I want you to go two energy, naval. Jump straight into naval. I will go two metal, two energy in the naval. Sounds good. This is uncharted territory, just straight water world up in this. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not worried about anti-air because I don't. I don't think there's an island. To, well, yeah, we should go a little bit anti-air because we got two of the islands, three of the islands for spawn points. Where am I going? Right, we're just waiting on you to select. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, is it going to be fun? So I think we should save the island and I'm going to put some anti-air and maybe some air factories just for the anti-air and then straight naval maybe some storages so start looking around the planet for metal uh, directly to the east of us there's some metal yeah let me in the water I just lost it I saw it though there's some southeast southwest there's a nice little patch Probably yeah in the first. water I see that southwest yeah okay straight east there's some navels going up so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my commander and just build single naval all the way around. Okay, I'm gonna try to walk my cr commander across the ocean. You can't, he explodes. He explodes? He explodes, get him out of the water. Really? Yeah. He explodes in deep water. That's why I've seen, I haven't tried it, but <clears throat> that's why I've seen in YouTube videos. I see what you're saying. I am gonna. Yeah, you, you, there's no point. You can't build anything in the. Okay. In the other island, there's some metal. Yeah, you're not gonna make it over there. You're welcome to try. What are you doing? Not continuing to build that because it put us in the negative. No, keep building. We're at plus. You're only gonna use fifteen hundred of it. Yeah, I mean, we're in the negative, but our reserves isn't empty. Except metal. And of course, we're... My question is, with naval, can they see the submarines? You know what I mean? Can they, uh... Hello? Right, I don't know. I have no idea. So even if I stop my commander now, we're still going to be in negative 50. 
Right. I mean, I could stop production. Uh, my fabers. Yeah, there we go. Oh, basically we can do this. I'm gonna see if this helps out. I'm gonna throw up energy storage. There are two commanders. Come on. Click. Start you back on metal. Just drop us down. Once that's done, we should have storage and metal back up. Yeah, usually we don't go naval. Especially all naval. So this is uncharted territory. For sure. I mean, I've built naval. For a little small attack but never army of it. I just hate how slow they move. It feels like everything is still in the first two minutes of the game. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to air a couple air factors, see how far I put them in the ocean. Awesome, they did get the the bigger island of everyone. And they're right next to us. Oh. Let's build our uh build that back up. Once we get it to about 100k, I'll start a advanced naval. Oh, I'm probably going to go see energy. Plus 5k, I need more fabers. Blake, I'm taking your... Uh, Commander. For this air? No. I said I'm taking it. Right, right. I'm gonna. He's gonna build our singles all the way around the base for a tier one naval. Basically, they're gonna. Most of them are gonna pump out anti air, just in case. The. These ships that I'm building are anti-ship, anti-air. Yeah. Which ones are those? The narwhal. Okay, here we go with those. That land, that day ship comes. Yeah, I'd, I'd pump out some of those right now, and then uh, we uh, should get some blue bottles. And maybe uh, see how about our ass. I don't think it'll go well. I think uh, we gotta wait till level two's out for the harass. I'm not sure how glitchy these guys are, so I'm gonna spread out my energy. Pump out a couple hummingbirds. So we can scout with them in a little bit. I 
It's time to go into tier two, naval. Yeah, it's going up. Oh, such a big spike. And we're just constantly expanding, trying to take all these metal spots in the water. Are we doing good in metal? Basically, we're in the negative on energy, which isn't good. There we go. Oh. Commander. I think the commander should stop being building advanced. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna get the commander pumping out more energy. Let it build up first. We're only at a plus a thousand. Yeah, let it build up. We're at 2600. So I think negative 75 is where we want to be when we have a good stockpile. Depending on what our stockpile is. Alright, we got anti-air. I'm going to go scope out their base. So they got advanced energy out. Alright, they they're rushing in. to tier 2. It's time to go do some damage. Yeah, we... They have no... Na oh, they, yes they do. They got uh, about 7 ships. 7? Yeah. Well, I got 10 coming to harass. Okay. Uh, don't kill them, don't. So I think you can get that, uh, those metal going up. Oh, you can shoot land? Snipe their commander. See if you can snipe their commander. It's kind of damage to They got tier 2 C energy, that's nice. Taking it out. I'm trying to focus down their energy real quick. We won that naval fight. Did? They should yep. have any naval up. Take them out. I'm gonna fall these two frontal ships back. Okay, uh, these ships head, yeah, keep them at this land, take out all that energy. Just doing tons of damage, tons of damage! Yeah. I wanna see how far they can shoot. Can you bring some planes over here? Try not to kill everything on the land. Why? Oh, okay. So we can just test how far these boats can shoot. We've won this game. Let's yeah. do some testing. Just continue to back the boats up in spot with the shit, or with your planes. I'm gonna micro this plane okay. so it doesn't get shot down. Yeah, so they got a farther range than the Commanders, which is good. We're gonna lose Continue a couple. Continue to fight the commander. Wait, wait. Let him, let him come out. See how far he goes. I want to see if he can walk on water. The YouTube videos I've seen, he dies. 
Well, he's gonna suicide in our advanced factory. Yeah, it's fine. I mean... So his commander walked from the other side too. Okay, yeah, take him out. His commander's gonna I walk can't shoot water. him while he's in the water. You can't? Nope. Really? Oh no. I guess uh, let me build some bombers, see what happens there. We need some catapults of our own. Does he have catapults? That is so lame, you can't shoot the commander when he's in deep water. He can't shoot us either. Stop playing with my boats. I'm going in to just destroy everything. I don't want him to decide he wants to come back. Maybe he's not attacking anything. Yeah, look at it. They can shoot the boats. Get him away from it. Let's see. Let's see if I'm bombing. No, nope, don't know yet. Okay, get the boats back. What are you bringing the boats back for? Because they're in range to shoot them. There. Bombers can attack them. Uh, where's your commander? Yeah, we got it. So that was kind of scary. That's fun. Good game. Yeah. Kind of strange. As Blake scared us, wanting to see how far his range was. I mean, the commanders go in the water. <laughs> right. Um, I think our build was still better. We jumped, we were, we were faster than them. Uh, they did start on two islands, which right next to each other, I think might have, depending what's on the island, you know, if there's right. two metal on each island, maybe we should uh, do it because we're still right next to each other. And now that we know that commanders can walk in deep ocean, yeah. But if you walk to that around. island, you would have ran into a commander. This is true. And I'm... since there's only about six, seven islands, the chances of us going to the good island it usually means they're over there. So basically what they did is they went to energy, to energy, naval, right away. And they didn't build enough fabricators, if you look how much metal we have up right now, in comparison. Yeah. What's the name of the other guy that was in the game? All I can see is Ninja Mac 17. Yeah. I should write these down first. That's what I said before the game. No, no, no. You don't know what you're talking about. Right. I got my notepad somewhere. I figure where it's at. Yeah, as soon as the commander hit deep ocean, the boats can't shoot at him. It's kind of lame. Good, that's when we uh, swing our bombers in. I stopped production on the bombers for some reason. I didn't queue up any bombers. 
I wonder if that's intended or if that's a glitch. I don't know. I don't think the commander should be able to go through deep ocean. <clears throat> I'm fine with them walking in deep ocean just as long as they can be shot. Yeah. Otherwise, if you got a naval army or base, they could just walk out there and be totally invulnerable to damage. And also, we we built we built boats that said that they only shoot down anti-air and anti-ships. Right. right. So, uh, so, should they be able to shoot land units? I mean, if you can shoot a boat that's on the water, why can't you shoot something on the on the land? Okay. Now then, I asked the boats that say only anti-land. Should they be able to shoot boats? Yes, but the ones that are anti-land should have a longer range. Okay. Alright, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Another genocide and Mackledowney match.